Hello, you amazing people. Today, um, I've got another another box to open. As I know you enjoy watching me open boxes, so I've got another one of them. Uh, I'm also going to watch it, do a little review after after this, so that'll be on the end. And then after that, I'm going to give you a little update as to what 4K films are coming out over the next few months. So there's quite a lot of exciting things to be uh, watching this video for today. Um, I've also done it on the day as well, so that's quite exciting. I've even got a list of stuff to remember to put in this video. So, um, number one, uh, I've got a bunch of thank yous. I think is very appropriate. I wanted to say thank you to my beautiful special friend Holly. Um, she was the one that basically helped me out so I could get this laptop so that I could do the editing. When it comes to editing, I wanted to say thank you to Adam as well because he's helped me a lot with this editing software because I've never used it before. I felt very sorry for him on the first day of me using this. I asked him so many questions and the poor little bastard was just trying to do his uni work and instead he had to talk to this old man. So poor thing, so thanks to Adam as well. I wanted to say thanks to all of the overwhelming support that I've had over the last, it's only been like a week and like the amount of support that I've had from people has been absolutely amazing. All of the messages, all the subscribers, all of you, I mean there's so many and all the likes and all the views as well. I wasn't expecting to have so many views so I mean I probably should have been a little bit more, a little bit more cheerful so thanks, you're all really nice, all of you except for you yeah um, yeah so uh, loads of people have been asking me about my Shaun of the Dead collection and when I'm going to be showing that off I say loads of people two people have asked me um, so my little plan will be that when I get to 25 subscribers I'm gonna reveal my Shaun of the Dead collection so that'll be exciting when I get to 50 subscribers I'm going to reveal my favorite film and I will talk about it and tell you what it's like in 4k blah 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 so let's uh let's open this son of a bitch today this Godzilla 2014 and this came out today as well so that's why I'm doing this today so it says it's new to 4k even though it came out in 2014 um, Oh, there's a bit of a tear at the top there. That's not very good, is it? That's that's pretty bad. Um, one thing I will say that I love about 4K releases is that most of them usually come with slip cases as well. So that's pretty exciting. I can show you. That's what the back looks like, by the way. I didn't... There you go. That's exciting, isn't it? Mm, look at that in there you've got a 4k disc there you've got blu-ray there no nice little artwork on the 4k disc as well so that's a new new addition new addition to my collection as well because i've never actually owned the 2014 version of godzilla so I'm quite happy with that i'm gonna watch that with my eyes and then uh you'll see me again in a sec i guess i'm back well, I haven't really been anywhere. You haven't. I have. You haven't. You've been sitting there waiting. So I've just finished watching Godzilla 2014 in 4K. Uh, wow, what can I say? Literally everything about that film is amazing. The monsters look absolutely amazing uh, in daytime and in nighttime. It's really good to see dark creatures at night where you can still see them and still see details and stuff like that so that was really good all of like the jungle bits just look really cool all of the bits outside and inside just everything about it I mean there's so many greens there's parts of it that was literally so blue I felt like I was watching a James Cameron movie there's loads of greens in it, it really reminded me of a lot of the greens in Kong Skull Island which is another 4k part of this universe so um, I haven't seen Godzilla vs Kong yet because 
I haven't got HBO Max, I don't live in America, so they're a bit rude. Won't let us have it over here in England. Oh, I have to live in America to have HBO Max. It should be called HBO Rude. One of, one of the best 4K films I've seen ever, I think. Not just this year, considering it was made in 2014. It's a pretty incredible 4K release, so I'm quite happy, quite happy with that. I'm just nudging my notes there, because I'll get to them in a minute. Um, so yeah, I mean, I'm, I'll probably, if I can, I might do a what I call a deep review. I don't know if I told you about deep reviews, I might have did that earlier, but um, I'm going to start doing what I call a deep review. I've got a few already where I've made notes while I've been watching the film on loads of different details throughout the film, so they're going to be very spoilery. Yeah, so if you like Godzilla 2014, then you've got an amazing, an amazing treat on the way when you watch it in 4K. Um, so anyway, uh, I had a little suggestion if people wanted to leave comments on what films they would like me to have a look at or do reviews on, I might be able to have a look into some of them. But yeah, like I said earlier, once I get to 25 subscribers, I will be showing off my Shaun of the Dead collection. Once I get to 50 subscribers, I will be revealing my favourite film of all time and I'll do a proper good review of that as well. So yeah, I said at the beginning that I've got some movie updates for you, like 4K releases coming soon. Obviously, I've done this video today on purpose because it was released today. Uh, I'm just looking at my notes. Uh, also, also out today is, I don't know if you guys have heard of Game of Thrones, but you can get every series of Game of Thrones. They're all released in 4K today. Uh, 19th of April, so that's next Monday. Uh, Nicolas Cage's new film, Willy's Wonderland, is out. Uh, there also there's also a re-release of the Urban Legend trilogy. Uh, if you guys like Austin Powers, that's been re-released. Flight of the Navigator in Bruges as well, all being re-released. Next Monday, there's also a special Bong Joon Ho collection box that's out next Monday as well. I don't know if I've mentioned Bong Joon Ho before. Maybe uh, week after. So we're talking about 26th of April. Donnie Darko, Battle Royale and Batman vs Superman are all going to be out in 4K. There's also a re-release of Short Circuit 2 in like this really nice looking box. So that's quite exciting. Uh, they're also releasing a special Avengers 1 to 4 4K box as well. As well as there being a complete set of the Chronicles of Riddick movies as well. And... 10 of the X-Men films will all be out in a box as well. For some reason, Logan's not in it, but literally all the other X-Men films are. I don't know why Logan's not in it. It's probably the best one, so they missed a trick with that one. Moving on to May, uh, we've got the Snyder Cut of Justice League will be out in May. There's no specific release date on that yet. We just know that it's going to be out in May. Uh, I've heard the first Saw is going to be out in 4K in May, so I'm quite looking forward to that. Saw is going to be out on the 4th or the 11th, that's not 100% confirmed yet. Also Shrek, the first Shrek will be out in 4K on the 11th of May. Uh, coming up to the 17th of May, you've got some pretty good 4K releases coming up on the 17th of May. The Sting will be out, Last Action Hero, Speed, Big Fish, National Lampoon's Animal House, all out in 4K, 17th of May. Uh, 24th of May, one of my favourite Nicolas Cage films called Mandy is going to be re-released on the 24th of May so I'm definitely going to be picking that up because I love that film and I'd love to have a limited edition so that would be really cool. Uh, Snatch, Guy Ritchie's Snatch is out on the 31st of May so that's something, that's something definitely worth picking up. These are all 4Ks by the way. Um, 7th of June 7th of June we've got a box set of Indiana Jones it's going to be out on the 7th of June in 4k um, it's 80 quid which I think is quite a lot I mean it's only 20 quid a film but who likes the fourth one so technically it's more than 25 quid a film because no one's going to be watching the fourth one 
uh, that's all like set dates that I know. I know in September Stanley Kubrick's Clockwork Orange is coming to 4K as well as the Shawshank Redemption. They're both scheduled for September. And as for that, I've got a little list here of 4K releases that are due to be out this year, but they haven't got pinned on dates yet, and they are Avatar, so I think a lot of people will be looking forward to that. Inglorious Bastards, Army of Darkness, the first Hellraiser, an American Werewolf in London, John Carpenter's The Thing, Scott Pilgrim vs. The World, uh, the original version of Dune, and Who Framed Roger Rabbit are all coming up this year but they haven't got set release dates yet so yeah it's quite a lot to get through um it's probably going to be quite a long video so i do apologize about that um i'm going to go edit it now so i can get it out on my channel as soon as possible huh it's going to be fun um but yeah thanks for watching thanks again for all the support i've had recently thank you to holly thank you to adam for everything you've done to help get this channel going really i think due to those two a lot and thanks to the encouragement i've had it's really nice and it really gives me a bit of confidence as long as i don't get a bit too confident if you could like this video that'd be great subscribe to the channel that'd be nice unless you're already subscribed in which case you don't have to um but apart from that enjoy your evening and i'll be back with an unboxing <laughs> love unboxing stuff for you i'll be back very soon so good night everyone